beautiful downtown Delaware. WDLR, Marysville, Delaware. This is a radio station all about you. I like things that are mine. Delaware, just more fun. Sunday, September 12th, 2021 in Delaware, Ohio. And it's time for the All Horse Parade on the new My 96.7. What do you think about that? It's Mark Bingaman. Look. And Kelly Bell. And the crowd over here is like, yeah, we're ready for the horses. Let's do it. We got a great uh, crowd out here today. We are going live in Delaware for the All Horse Parade. This is a really special parade, isn't it? it no, it's special, really? Well, you know, not yes, too many I people know. have all horse parades. <laughs> this is a very unique it thing. It is that very has. unique and very darn cool, and what a beautiful day we have for it already. It is right. perfect. After a year of uh, saying bye bye because of COVID, and then the year before that, the cancellation. Look at this sunshine and everything else, and it's fantastic. I'm Mark Bingaman for the Mid Ohio Breakfast Club on My 967. Kelly Bellows here from the Little Brown Jug Radio Network and Horsing Around. That's right. And this is kind of the lead up to the Little Brown Jug, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, the most famous harness race in the world, right here in Delaware, on the fastest track in the country with the best horses in the world. Oh, I see it. Look, they're closing off the road. Oh, yes, oh indeed. everything's about to start. I can't wait. You know, they're going to have the famous Budweiser Clydesdale here. You're the, Bud the Budweiser Clydesdale. Yes. Get out of here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my I gosh. Yes. The people gathered along the street, and that's a pretty darn good idea, too. Uh, how fantastic is that? But, you know, even cuter. I was down mm -hmm. at the fairgrounds this morning watching them all line up. Yep. And there was this cute little baby Palomino that's going to come running along next to its mama. Oh, my goodness. A baby Palomino coming Melted soon, too. Melted my heart. Oh, that is so awesome. And a little donkey. <laughs> <laughs> and a little donkey, too. So it's a little bit after 3 o'clock. What is it here now? About 3.03, 3.04, something like that. <laughs> uh, the new My 96.7 doing. <laughs> Our thing, and uh, and uh, and so the uh, the parade uh, so stepping off from the fairgrounds, the Delaware County Fairgrounds, right at three o'clock. We are situated at C N O Automotive on the corner of North Sandusky and Lincoln in uh, in Delaware City. That's where our WDLR Broadcast Central Complex is. Uh, so it'll take 15 minutes or so for the horses and the, and the first entry in the parade to make their way here. So Kelly and I are going to tell you all about it and have a little fun before the uh, before the first entry comes here. I don't know. There's so much to talk about, Kelly. Uh, we can talk about the the fact that we have our horse bingo ready to go out here. We have horse bingo. Yay! We have horse bingo right band. here. Yes. Yay! Now we have to explain what that is for people who are not from Delaware. Okay. okay. You know what? Before we get to that, I should tell everybody what you can do too. I, I, I failed to mention the uh, the different signals. So we're at my 96.7 FM, 96.7 FM. You can also listen in on AM 1270 WDLR. We have the uh, live uh, feed going on the TuneIn app for your smartphone. You search WDLR if you download that free TuneIn app. And then there's the video feed live on My967.net. So you can actually watch what's going on from our vantage point, too, at My967.net on the web. So if you got people at home, people around the world, people around the country going, hey, what's going on? Send out that link and let them know the dealio. It's the 36th annual All Horse Parade, and we were a little bit worried about 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 a horse bingo situation. We have the poop cam ready to go. We talked about that with Wild Bill over here a little That's bit earlier, right. and then here at the last minute, what about 10 minutes or so ago, we we got our horse bingo set up out here in front. So Kelly, tell us about horse bingo and what's going on. Okay, horse bingo. They draw squares on the parade route on the street yeah. with chalk, put numbers in those squares, mm -hmm. and then you can bet on a square, and if a horse poops in your square, you win. Uh -huh. Now, most groups do their own little group uh, gambling, you know, where they might do a dollar a square or two, right. and some of them donate mm -hmm. their money to charity. Uh, what we're going to do is we have a few prizes laying around at the station, and anyone who gets on the My 96.7 Facebook page yeah. and makes a comment on our set of squares, uh -huh. you can pick a number, and if you're one of the first five people to have a horse poop in your square, you're going to win a prize. Okay. We've got, I know we've got pri I know we have RenFest, the Renaissance Festival uh, Passes. Happening now down south, we have those ready to go. So we'll give away some Renfest tickets. And you said something about uh, some some coffee mugs. We too? got some coffee mugs, okay. absolutely. And then there might be a few other little things laying around at the station that we can, uh, you know, gin up. 
right? All right. Do we, have, do we have members out here? Are they on the Facebook page right now? I'm sorry to ask uh, you about this. I don't want to actually, I've, I'm getting ready to go live on the Facebook page right okay. now. And well, uh, While you're at it, folks, if you, if you follow us on Facebook, do that over there on Facebook. I say you can do it on the Middle Ohio Breakfast Club page, too, and on my 96.7. And be a part of that. Maybe win a prize with the horse being open the Middle Ohio Breakfast Club. And, uh, and WTLR. I want to thank a lot of folks who are helping make uh, this broadcast possible here today. Uh, the broadcast on My 96.7, brought to you by these lovely sponsors. Thank you very much, Ron and Darla Waterwash, Team Waterwash of the Weicker Triumph Realty Group and Pal. Also, the Hamburger Inn along Sandusky Street in Delaware. Revolution Mortgage, sponsoring our live broadcast, both online and on the web and on the air. Uh, Mosher's Market in Raymond, thank you very much. Chaffee's Coffee, Tea and Confections. A lot of people popping in there today, getting their goodies before the uh, uh, the horses make their way towards uh, Winter Street. Also, Cross Strings Music, uh, the Delaware County Transit Authority, James Tree Service, Cashman's. Uh, thank you very much for your sponsorship. Thank you to the folks here at CNO Automotive uh, for helping us out and giving us a spot here for the WDLR Broadcast Central. And uh, Don McCann, our buddy Don McCann is always taking care of business. Our stage here uh, provided by him and the uh, fine folks at, uh, I believe it's uh, Ambets in Ashley Adair. We'll double check that, but uh, it's, it's a nice little set here. Our buddy, our buddy Carter Johnson taking care of business over here. Audio Central Extraordinaire, Wild Bill handling the video feed. And uh, Kelly, what you got? Uh, I'm just really excited to be it's here. It's all of a sudden, isn't it? Yeah, there's a little, there's a little bit of wind up. coming <laughs> through here. We could probably use a little wind socks on our microphones, but it's still a beautiful day to be out here. The breeze feels good. I love it. Uh, I see an awful lot of people lining up on the streets. You know, there was some rumor that some folks were on Facebook saying the parade was canceled this mm -hmm. year. Oh, it is not. Mm -hmm. uh, last year it got canceled because of COVID, and some people who were looking to find out what the parade route is Seeing saw last year's parade. post yeah. and kind of panicked. Yeah. The parade is on. It is starting. There's still time for you to get down here and set up your lawn chairs in the shade, bring a piece of chalk, um, and, and you can do your own horse bingo. And uh, we've got an awful lot of entries this year. My goodness, what are we looking at? Like uh, some 70 or 80 entries in this parade? A whole bunch of them. That's this is going to be incredible. Uh, of course, we're one week away now from the little brown jug and the horse racing. little brown jug. So you'll be sitting over here at the horse track in just, uh, what, about a mile or so away as the, uh, as the crow flies and, and a week from today. That's right. The fair is September 18th through the 25th. It's the 76th running of the Little Brown Jug Grand Circuit Harness Race. Uh, live racing happens from the 19th to the 23rd. The 22nd is the Jugette, and the 23rd is Jug Day, and that is a big, big deal. Um, we're really, really excited that the crowds are going to be able to come back to the fair this year and see these racers. It, they're really the best harness horses in the country. Of course, WDLR always has been, is the uh, the home of the Little Brown Jug Radio Network and all jug racers all week long on my 96.7. We'll have those for you. Kelly doing the uh, doing her business along with uh, the GISS. The GISS. Keith Gisser, he is uh, he knows so much about harness racing. He's very funny. Uh, he's also a good handicapper. Right. You know, and I love listening to him. He's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what else we have? Roger Houston's picks. Mm -hmm. Every single race, every day, if you're listening in, you'll hear not only Keith Gisser's handicapping, but what Roger Houston thinks as well. So this is going to give you quite an edge if you choose to weigh your out there at the races. Mm -hmm. I love Roger's picks. <laughs> He's amazing. And, of course, we'll have, uh, we'll have coverage of the uh, Little Brown Jug and the racers all week long, not only with the broadcast, but also with us in the morning. Mark and Sherry, Mark Bingaman and Sherry Fisher on the Mid-Ohio Breakfast Club. And, uh, and Kelly Bell here keeping us apprised of what's going on. We'll have Giss on the air, too. Had a great chat with uh, Roger Houston on the uh, show uh, a few equipment. weeks back. That was, pretty darn awesome. that was pretty fantastic. So, um, um, so yeah, so uh, tune into the Breakfast Club on My 96.7 all week long. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, we'll keep you updated on the, uh, on the horse racing situation around here. Here we are at the All Horse Parade. Let's mention some of the, uh, some of the main sponsors, that uh, everybody that's helped to put together the All Horse Parade here over the years. And there's a big old list of folks. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's shout out to <laughs> Buyers Automotive to start us off. And the Eagles Lodge, number 376. Delmar Distribution. Hey, they were out at the fair the other night doing an event oh, with the Clydesdale. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that was great. 
Uh, you want to take a couple there? Mm -hmm. Start off here. Yeah, Jeff and Jerry Jenkins, Boyd's Tire, Mail Pro One, Brent Kane, Ross Long, Victoria Thompson, All Win Stables, All Win Carriage. And then, of course, a very special thank you to Del Mar Distribution, the Budweiser folks. That's Jeff and Jerry Jenkins and Columbus Distributing for bringing in the Budweiser Clydesdales. Yeah, they put on a big event at the mm -hmm. fairgrounds the other night. They're in the VIP tent. They had live music out there. The band was great, by right. the way. Got to take pictures with the Clydesdales. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was really a, you know, hoity-toity yep. affair. So uh, when we had Diane Winters from the All Horse Parade on, on the Breakfast Club a few weeks ago, we were talking about that and what it took for her uh, and, the, uh, and the organization to get the, uh, the Clydesdales here to the parade. And it's sort of fascinating, all the work you got to go through, and you got to get the, uh, the distributing company to, to be a part of it, too, and then you bring them in here. Yeah, and, you know, they travel 300 days a year. Really? And they have multiple teams mm -hmm. that go out in multiple sections of the country. Um, and they've got horses that are back at the barns that they can switch out with the ones that are on a, a right. traveling group so that they get their vacations, mm -hmm. too. And you know what amazed me? What amazed you? I was there at the barn with these horses, and they're, they're magnificent. They're huge. And you worry a little bit about, you know, whether or not they might rear up or want to bite you if you get too close to them. But mm -hmm. all of these horses have been so well trained to be around the public. Yeah. They know how to be gentle giant ambassadors. You know, they're just tolerant of everybody. You know, people that may not know about horse etiquette can yeah. walk right up to them, you know, touch them on the nose, and, and they don't even blink. They're mm -hmm. just okay with it. Yeah, I've loved all the uh, Facebook posts from people over the past several days that have been visiting the, uh, the Clydesdales at, at the fairgrounds. You know, I know you were out there. Ma Bingaman went out there. My ah. mom got some pictures of Ma. She's, and it's funny, she sent me a text, sent me a picture of her standing by the, uh, by the uh, one Clydesdale, and she goes, he licked my neck. <laughs> 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 Standing right there, and he's he again. He's like, oh, I must have some salt there. A little salt lick, perhaps. <laughs> That's so great. Um, you know, Michelle Gatchel, she's uh, my co-host on the Saturday morning show, Horsing Around. We just talked about yeah. horses. She went out there and did an interview with one of the handlers or the grooms for the Clydesdales, and they were explaining that when they pull this big wagon uh that they put the two biggest horses closest to the wagon, then the next size down, the next size down, and then the smallest ones are the lead horses. Oh, really? Okay. So the, the ones next to the wagon are your big giants, and they call those the wheel horses. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. Uh, so, yeah, I think Very it's nice. wheel horse, body horse, uh, swing horse, and lead horse. Um, so that's that's kind of a neat little piece of Clydesdale trivia. I like that. Very, very interesting. Nice touch. Yes, <laughs> indeed. I saw Don McCann's pictures out there. Don was out there checking out uh, the Clydesdales as well. Hey, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Come over here, Carlos. Guys, we have pop on by. He's like, no. <laughs> well, Carlos, just wanted to say thanks, man. Again, check in and say, is this something you guys have done? I, I noticed you got some folks out here enjoying the party. Carlos from CNO Automotive is who uh, we're hanging out with. Nice enough to let us be in the, in the parking lot here today. And uh, check out all these folks here. Who do you got hanging out with you today? Who's we here got all our family. Usually we have about 14 years to be doing the same thing here. Yeah, have 14 years. a little nice great parade yeah, for yeah. the community. Yeah. Yep. Who all's with you? I don't know, family, my brother, the friends, yeah. mom and dad, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a great you know, time here. Today. Enjoy watching the horses when they roll by. Yes, we do. <laughs> I let you guys do your thing. Thank you. All right, man. Well, we appreciate it. You guys have fun. Uh, very, very cool. Carter, what's happening with you, man? Not a whole lot. Just hanging out, enjoying a great day with you guys. Yeah, you betcha. We are waiting for the uh, the horses to show up here. We're at CNO Automotive on, uh, on Lincoln Avenue in North Sandusky in the city of Delaware. Horses took off in the fairgrounds a little bit ago. Takes them a few minutes to get down the street here. So they'll be popping up, and we shall bring you all the information on each entrant as they, uh, as they roll on by. We heard a little rumor here, too. Don't know that it's true that uh, the Clydesdales may be a little bit earlier in the parade here this, uh, this afternoon. We'll see how that starts to play out, whether or not it is a thing. I also wanted to mention, too, uh, today it's also a big old happy grandparents' day to the grandparents out there, the folks from uh, the All Horse Parade who wanted us to be sure. And, uh, and mention that here as we chill out and do our thing here, waiting for the uh, for the horses to show up. we got a big crowd out here. I, yeah. I'm really amazed. This is uh, kind of 
uh, on the the first leg uh, after the first turn from the fairgrounds, and uh, you know there are just people as far as the eye can see. Everybody mm -hmm. in Delaware must be here today. They are. Again, my967.net is where you can watch it. If you're listening online right now and you want to watch the video feed, my967.net. Uh, check that out. Uh, Wild Bill over here managing the cameras uh, for that. Uh, if you're sitting around, you can also listen to us on the uh, TuneIn app on your smartphone. Maybe about ready to leave the house, want to roll on by here, grab a seat someplace, and see what's going on. As you watch the parade, the TuneIn app is a free download. Uh, download that and then search WDLR. Having any trouble with any of the regular radio signals for any reason? AM 1270, WDLR, another option for you. And, of course, my 96.7, our live broadcast going right now. You know, I'm so happy that I finally got our Facebook feed to start. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to the Are we on now? Seven, yeah, we are. That's oh, right, you right got to tell me where we're on. Uh, we, we are on. on. Hi, you know, everybody on Facebook. Yeah. Facebook yeah. Live. What's going on? What's happening? Um, so if you go to our website and look at the feed there, you're going to be able to see our horse bingo squares. Select a square. Mention it in the comments here on the Facebook feed. The first five people that do that and have a horse poop on their square win a prize from the station. We got a few different things back at the station, so it'll be kind of of a surprise what we're, what we're going to have. But we got some mugs, we got some tickets to a couple events, and uh, so you know, just be part of the fun. Are you allowed to say poop on the radio? Uh, I hope so. Poop on? I don't know if you say poop on the radio. Now, or not. what happens if no horse poops on any of our squares? Then what do we do? We'll all be very, very sad and cry. I, I think we should send Carter out there. No, you know. no, 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 <laughs> you know, no, no. That might be a really bad <laughs> idea. I think Delaware PD might have an issue with that. Something about indecent exposure yeah, I'd in have public. an issue with that. I think we all have an issue with that. So, hi, Facebook Live again. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Just make sure you tell me. What if I was poking you know, Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Damn, yeah, yeah good. goodness gracious. Well, I'll keep this running, you know, as a little sideline <laughs> thing for us, uh, and, you know, until my battery dies, right? Well, yeah. what else have you noticed as you've been roaming around? I know we were talking to some folks out here involved in the, uh, in the parade today. Any other scuttlebutt or interesting notes? Uh, we have a group that's going to be in the parade. Uh, what are they called? The Silver Riders? It's the Silver Riders. Silver Saddles, isn't Silver it? Saddles, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and this is like an older group of folks that come out, and they, they seem to be a really big highlight. I'm so. looking forward to seeing that. And if I remember from your program correctly, Kelly, they're trying to go for a world record today with the most Silver Saddles. Wow, I did not know that. Michelle must have picked that up for us. Oh, my huh. gosh. See, i got to pay attention to my own A program. world record potentially today? Isn't that something? Hey. That would be amazing mm -hmm. if they can pull that off. All right, so well, okay, so Lincoln Avenue is still open here, letting traffic flow back and forth. I'm just watching, excited to watch how the uh, the flow works here. Look at all these, uh, look at all everybody lined up along the parade route. I think these may be some of the best looking parade watchers I have ever seen. <laughs> look at that, my gosh, all American. It's amazing Beauty. to see all these people out after not having the parade last year. <laughs> it, it's yeah, like Delaware's right. come back to mm -hmm. what it was pre-COVID. Well, I, I hate to say it. I mean, this is my first all-horse parade. I mean, I've been working here at the radio station for like coming up in five years, and this is the first time I've, I've, I've been at the all-horse parade. Oh my and getting to do it live and getting to do it on the radio, how awesome is that? You know what this means? What does it mean? This is a big moment. Okay. This means that as of this moment, you are officially a true Delaware. Amen, sister. You tell him right yeah, on. you got to be a Delaware. Right on. So, Kelly, does he count as a veteran at this point since we're out on site? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we'll we'll get to that. Let's let's not let him get the big head. Been in the trenches here, hey, man. Can, while we're waiting for the parade to come down, um, I want to throw in a couple of other things about the Little Brown Jug this year. One of the things that they do is they have honoree every year, and this year the lady face honoree is going to be Jennifer Brown of Brian Brown Stable. Okay. Um, so we're really really excited about that. The um, Brown Racing Stables, they actually stable out of the Delaware County Fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. They have tons of horses, you know, sometimes 50, 60, 70. Um, they, they're big supporters of the Jug, really fierce competitors, top-notch organization. A lot of local people go out there and can work as grooms, get part-time jobs, or, you know, even help warm up horses in the stocky. They, they're out there 
warming up every single day. Oh, Texas, yeah? Yeah, and, and she's the huh. lady pace on a ring this year. So well, cool. congratulations to Jennifer Brown of Brian Brown Stables. I'm sure I would think maybe we'll see her in the uh, parade sometime soon. I, I, don't, I don't know, know if she's going to be in the parade or not. Yeah. Um, I, I did see them out there wa- warming up the horses and, and working them this morning. So right. they're, they're nearby. Okay. Um, we got one other one. Uh, for the Wall of Fame this year, Nikki and Sylvia Burke of Burke Racing Stables are going to be the Wall of Fame honorees, and that's that's a huge, huge honor. Uh, they do a big dinner every year uh, during Jug Week uh, in the log cabin, and uh, Nikki and Sylvia, the Burks, you know they've had 23 horses entered in the Little Brown Jug over the years. Isn't that, wow, that's, that's a lot of years. That's yeah. a <laughs> lot of years. You know, uh, Burke Racing Stables is just uh, really a lot of skill. Um, so yeah. we're, we're really, really, really excited about that. That's that's going to be awesome to have them on there this year. My goodness, very cool. Um, horses around, well, we got a minute or so. I want to talk about that show every Saturday morning at 9.30 on My 96.7. It's Kelly Bell and, uh, and, and Michelle, Michelle Gatchel. Gatchel. And you guys talk about horses. Horses, anything <laughs> equine. Mm-hmm. Not just harness racing, get into everything. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, absolutely, anything equine. You know, I, yeah. I can even, like, uh, throw in the occasional horse joke. <laughs> would you like a little horse humor? I would like some horse humor. Yes, I would. Okay. Clydesdale walks into a bar. Yeah. The bartender says, hey. And he goes, you read my mind. I'll have a double. <laughs> 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 I was doing some of those on the morning show this week, doing some horse jokes. I totally forgot to bring them with me. <laughs> I need to look those up. I was going to do my stand-up comedy routine. I was wondering, Mark. Afternoon. Yeah. One horse joke after another. <laughs> oh, we're just having fun out here with the horses. I can't wait until we see them come around the corner. I'm going to get so excited. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's 324 now, so they stepped off at 3 o'clock. So right. we should be seeing them come down Sandusky Street any minute. I, You can just feel the excitement in the air. Everybody's just waiting for it. Hey, Wild Bill, you got a quick second to talk to us about the video there? Sure. In a quick minute. Our video feed going to on my967.net. My967.net. Uh, that's on there. Hop on. Will that be archived as well, too? So there's a live stream going on right now. Will it be archived as well? It will go to YouTube. Uh, it will be recorded by YouTube, and yeah. then you can make it live for people to watch uh, mm-hmm. anytime they want. Okay. Well, talk to us about our, our cam out here and our, our poop cam. Well, what? poop cam is we're, we're, the only thing we got to do is we got to make sure we know which numbers are which numbers because uh, we want to be able to identify that. Plus, we've got a little. Picture and picture in the bottom left-hand corner of the uh, of the of the screen on the show that's being broadcast on the website, so you can see it's like zoomed in on the little grid, so you can see if someone maybe in real time uh, deposits something there. Okay, you see that's what I was missing. They can see on the poop cam. They can see that on yeah. Facebook, so yeah, they know if, which if number. If they, they have that the desire, yes. On there. <laughs> well, who wouldn't have such a desire? I don't know. <laughs> Whose idea was the poop cam anyway? Someone with decorum. I, th- I think it was sort of a uh, a group. Uh, it was a group, a group a humiliation. And that could rhyme, but we won't say uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for all the work you're doing with the video. Tell us a little bit about the yourself and the, and the company real quick. Well, uh, Wild Bill Productions, we have a company uh, that uh, does live streams and highlight films. And uh, we also do uh, live streaming through our network called Union County Network out in uh, Marysville. And we work with WDLR on that for our uh, fundraising program. It's really great for the, for the Monarch. So, yeah, that's. What I do. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful setup, man. We're very excited about the other uh, video aspect as well. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm excited. And, and the thing that we wanted to do today when I was talking to Kelly was we wanted to make sure you had two different things. You could, you could watch Facebook, yeah. and you can see the announcers right on Facebook. And then you can also go to YouTube. So if you open them up both at the same time, you're good to go. You can see everything. I know. I'm such a hand. I get to stare at myself on camera all yes, the time. Yes, exactly. See, this so is a bad thing, man. This is a bad, bad thing. We were thinking about adding a little, we were trying to keep the number of cameras down because we, we have a lot of wind over here, and, and uh, we've been tying things everywhere. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Sure all right. Over. Well, I'll let you get back to it. All I right. Thank you. you. Thank you, man. Uh, so, Bob Bingaman is apparently our, our cub reporter, and uh, Bob Bingaman, they may have started off a few minutes early, but about 3.11, Bob Bingaman's over at the uh, Delaware County Fairgrounds right at the start, and it's 3.11, she texted me and said, they just left. They are on the move. They're on the move. So I don't know if they got started a couple of minutes later or not, but we'll see where things go. Well, they're coming. We know that. 
enjoy Ma Bingaman's having a heyday today running around. She's like our little cub reporter. Is what oh, she is. thank you, Ma. We appreciate you <laughs> being our roving reporter for the Delaware Horse Parade. Hey, hey, and she's listening on the TuneIn app, too, because I set her up with it before I, uh, before we <laughs> I got going here. I said, Ma, here's the TuneIn app. You can drive all around and tell us what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, oh, we see horses in the oh, distance. We just got a the signal. They are distance. starting to come. They are coming pretty darn soon. I uh, want to say hey to Mary. Mary Bragg with a comment on Facebook. Mary, thank you for checking us out on Facebook uh, this afternoon. Appreciate it. And a hi to you. Thank you for tuning in on My96.7 and watching the uh, the video feed as well. Once again, thanks to our sponsors of the live on-air broadcast. We couldn't do this without them. Ron and Darla Waterwash, Team Waterwash, the Wiper Triumph Realtors Group, and Hal Hamburger Inn, Revolution Mortgage, Mosher's Market, uh, Choppy's Coffee, Cross Strings Music on both of those along Winter Street, Delaware County Transit Authority, uh, James Tree Service, Cashman's, and thanks to our folks here, CNO uh, Automotive Repair, uh, for the uh, use of their fine parking lot here today. Nice to hang out. We were very concerned, too, about uh, about the uh, restroom system and everything. Well, there's, I guess the only person concerned about that was me, but uh, my friend Carter over here took care of it. I think we got that taken care yeah, of. We, we got squares better. right out there. My guys, <laughs> we are seeing the beginning of the uh, the parade oh, coming down. Y'all ready over here? Y'all ready for a parade? The All Horse Parade 2021? Yay. Yes. Woo. We see the Delaware City uh, Police Department leading the parade, lights and flashing right away, and coming behind them, I assume that's the color guard, correct? Oh, my goodness. It looks to be the color guard. Through oh, the trees, I can, I can see, see the flags. Flag. Yep. Through the trees. Yes, here they Through come. Through the trees. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to commence the All Horse Parade 2021 on the new My 96.7 and on the web at my 967net Thank you for being a part of the broadcast. So our first thing is our Delaware police Delaware coming PD. by. You what know, up? Let's hey, hey. Thank you, Delaware PD. Give it out to our PD for protecting us every day. We appreciate everything that they do in service to the community. They don't get enough love, so you're getting it from me. Okay, and here comes the color guard. Look at that. Yeah, the color guard leading the lights. Oh, we got a nice little pink and a bay. We've got two folks. The American flag and the POW flag. Thank you, guys. Oh, and what do we have here? Oh, okay. These are our veterans. Yes. Vietnam Veterans of America. Vietnam Veterans of America and the Color Guard. Thank you, veterans, for your service. The American flag, the POW, and the uh, Missing in Action flag, and the Vietnam Vets flag, too. Fantastic. And number three as well, yes. Uh, that's also riding on the wagon, members of the Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 1095. Veterans are in a wagon being pulled by Tim Funk and stop hands for healing. Oh, I know Tim Funk. We interviewed him on our Horse and Around show, and my friend Brian Jeanette works there. They do fabulous work. We've had them on the on the Breakfast Club a couple of times, uh, too. That is such a fantastic, you're right, it's a fantastic uh, effort they put out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he does hey guys. work with so many birds. How you loving? What's going on? Peace to you, too. <laughs> oh, there's We're excited the, to see you. Thanks for being in the parade. What we see here is the riderless horse with the boot backwards. That is so symbolic. Wow. And the sword, oh, my gosh, that just touches your heart, you know? Really Moving does. into our shot right now, riding on the wagon, members of the USA Veterans, various branches of the military. Pulling the wagon today is a Percheron team. Is that how you say that? Named that is Murphy. correct, yes. Yeah, Percheron named Murphy and Hot Rod. They're owned and driven by retired Air Force Master Sergeant Alan Stanley. These are versatile and gentle giant draft horses. They're actively used for farming, plowing, parades, hay rides, logging, and successfully logging uh, complete, uh, and competing in Central Ohio Fair and winning championships galore. Hey, that's Thank you for your wagon. service, gentlemen. Oh, we're so, so proud to have them that's on. That's a Percheron team here. Huh? Yes, right. it is. Nice. Percheron, I've learned something brand new already. That's All a new right. word for me. Yeah, Percheron, named Murphy and Hot Rod. Don't ask me to spell it. <laughs> okay, now we have -E the St. Paris fire engine. It is. It's a fire engine being drawn. Very oh. awesome. And these horses uh, are provided by Dean Shira. Now, this fire engine is like an old 1800s, just a beautiful wagon that's been completely restored. You can see the chrome has all been redone on it. Uh, 
Oh, my goodness. That is a gorgeous wagon. Yeah. Wow. An, an 1884 did. steamer. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Even the fireman who's standing on the back is in period costume. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty cool. Okay, now next. Our mounted deputies. Where's Barb? There are the mounted deputies. Where's Lena? There's Lena. These are law enforcement Hello. mounted deputies from half a dozen different agencies, always proud to participate every year in the All Horse Parade. Hey. Thank you very much for your service. Lena is a Frisian purebred mare. She is the most beautiful horse I've ever seen. I love Lena. <laughs> oh, That's Barb. Lena, huh? Yes, oh, that uh, Lena's famous. Everybody Lena's knows famous? Lena the Frisian. Oh, oh what do we parade. have here? All Horse Parade banners being carried by members of the Ashley Legion Post 518, Andy Parks, and Keith Legion. We, it looks like we've got Judge Henry Shaw. Hey, Judge Shaw. Hey, Judge, Judge Shaw. Shaw. What's Hello. going on, Judge Shaw? Good to see you. That's a beautiful Clydesdale on a classic <laughs> white carriage. Uh, everybody driving is dressed in red, white, and blue colors. Love Judge Shaw. We had him on the, uh, the Breakfast Club a couple of months back. Uh, he is just the coolest guy. I love him. Oh, now here, uh -huh. classic wedding carriage. It's all white. It's got flowers. We've got our queens on it. Mm -hmm. who, are, who are these nice young ladies? Well, if I read it, I can't wave to them. <laughs> i got to wave first. All right. <laughs> Hello. There we go. Riding in the wagon, Mr. Byers and members of Byers Automotive. Uh, featured sponsor of the continued support of the All Horse Parade once again this year. Hill and Hollow Farms owns a hitch of Belgian geldings. The hitch is exhibited by Nick and Ron Wills. Hill and Hollow Farms thanking all the sponsors for having them in the Horse Parade. Okay. Oh, that's number 15. We jumped ahead just a little bit, didn't we? Let me uh, here, the, the Gener Gel Delaware County Fair royalty is what passed just a what minute ago. Okay. We had the 4-H Queen, the Senior Princesses, the Junior Princesses, and the carriage provided by Patty Smith of All Occasion Carriage and Pony Rides. And just 15, so now, 15 Cheryl Briegel and her cart just passed us here a minute yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they get out of order now, a little bit. These are the folks and buyers coming up here now, right? Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That carriage is spectacular. The tack on these beautiful Clydesdales. The horses are all braided up and beautiful. Uh, that That is a fantastic looking rig. And Fantastic. here we go, Mr. Byers and members of Byers Automotive. Hello, folks. Thank you for your continued support of the All Horse Parade here in Delaware. Again, Hill and Hollow Farms owns the Hitch of Belgian Geldings. Hitch exhibited by Nick and Ron Wills. Hill and Hollow Farms thanking all the sponsors for having them in the All Horse Parade. And I noticed parade. that the Byers horse team stopped right on the poop squares, but we didn't oh, have any action. I noticed that, too. It's just number 10, I believe. Yes. Okay. Yes. Jump into it. Delaware yeah. Eagles. Hey, what's up? Go ahead. The Eagles are on a beautiful blue cart, also being pulled by a four Persian team. Fantastic tack on that. Red, white, and blue decorations on the Eagles cart. A whole bunch of folks from the Eagles in there. The Eagles Lodge, number 376, is a presenting sponsor, and we thank them for their continued support of the All Horse Parade. Thunderstruck Percherons owned and driven by Terry and Pam Marker. Black Percherons weighing between 1,750 and 2,200 pounds. Now, Del Mar Distributing. Del Mar right? Distributing. They're the ones that brought in our Clydesdales for us, and they've got a beautiful rig full of Clydesdales, too. Not to be second to the famous Budweiser Clydesdales. And we have Jimmy Jam and Kelsey. Hello, WMCI. WMCI. Hey, guys. How you doing? <laughs> All right. Representing for the radio gang. Oh, who's next? I, oh, can't tell I who see this Kip is. in the wagon with Kelsey. Jimmy Jam, give us a little kiss, baby. <laughs> All right. So Jimmy right Stubby. behind them, we've got two beautiful black Persians. Uh, Pershons uh, with a classic wedding wagon. Uh, I'm not sure who's in that wagon. I believe. Are these our folks from ABC6 back there, too? There he goes. Yes. And a thumbs up. All right. So you're hanging out behind the WNCI, guys. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> and right behind that, we've got three young ladies who volunteered. I know that Diane Winters depends so much on the volunteers who have the rolling carts and pick up after the horses along the parade route. What they do is so important, and we really, really appreciate them. Is that going to mess up our poop bingo? Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. We're good. Okay. They, they pick it up, but, you know, if, if something lands in there, you win, and then they come scoop it up. So oh, it's okay. Yeah. So. That's kind of all part of the routine. Well, you know, for... 
for our Facebook Live people, I wanted to make sure that they could still get their prize with the Pooper Scoopers. Absolutely. All you got to do is have the poop land there, and you're good. So it's Andrew Michael from ABC6 and uh, Fox 28, morning meteorologist for Good Day Columbus. Draft horse and carriage are owned by Sharon and Bob Losey. Very pretty. Oh, is that who that is? Yes. That's a beautiful carriage. Uh -huh. Very classic. The kind that you would use for a wedding. It's got some nice coach lights on the side of it. Uh, red velvet on the interior. Uh, it's got a fold-up back so that you can be in the shade. The big wooden wheels. Classic spokes. Uh, and gorgeous chromed um, tack for the horses. So you all could probably hear stunning. the uh, band in the background. We have a little standstill here right now. It's amazing. For a few seconds, they just zoom right through here as fast as they can go, and then we and then we have a little pause in the action as they wait to catch up a little bit. And uh, we have a forthcoming band here in just a minute. You can hear their tunes. I'm yeah. starting to feel the groove here a I know. Bit. It's kind of exciting, isn't it, Mark? <laughs> I tell you. You're listening to the All Horse Parade here on My 96.7 and on AM 1270 WDLR. The video stream online at My967.net. My967.net. Now make sure if you go to our website, take a look at the poop can. You'll see all the squares. And then just put something in the comments, either on the website or the Facebook page. Pick a number, and if, you, if a horse poops on your number, the first five people to do that will win a prize from the station. Well, we have a minute or so here, too. I want to run back here and talk about uh, Parade Honoree, Judge Henry Shaw, who passed by. We didn't have time because they were zooming by. Judge Henry Shaw, Parade Honoree of the All Horse Parade this year, 27 years as the judge in Delaware County Police Court. The hearing room of the uh, renovated courthouse renamed in his honor. With the judge today, Rod, did you see Judge Roger was in that with with uh, with the judge? I missed that. With the Roger judge today, Houston? Roger Houston, the voice of Little Brown Jug and Past Parade Honoree. Diane Winters, Pat Allen, uh, owned and sponsored All Win Carriage and the Clydesdale horse that uh, was pulling them along. Uh, Diane Winters, the driver of the carriage, one of the founders, of the course, of the All Horse Parade back in '86. So Diane. We missed a chance to say hi to a bunch of our friends right How there. How did that get well, past those things me? got busy oh all of a sudden right here. Oh, look at the marching band. Who do we have here? Oh, huh? this looks like the Ohio Wesleyan marching band. Those colors are Ohio Wesleyan. Yeah, it says Ohio yeah, Wesleyan. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go Ohio Wesleyan. Beautiful so university guys, right here in downtown Thanks for Delaware. doing that. And we have another round of the volunteer pooper scoopers. Oh, more of them, right. Well, you know, so they had it before the band and after the band. I think well, that's I was thinking important. that this group of girls yeah. needs to be behind their horses. Wyandotte County crew right there right now riding away. Please visit the Wyandotte County Fair September 13th through the 18th. On Friday night, September 17th at 7 p.m., they have a monster truck showdown and a pre-show pit party at uh, the Wyandotte County Fair. Oh, look, there's another Frisian. Wow, look at that high-stepping horse. The Frisians are an amazing breed. They're the ones, look, do you see these two Frisians right here? They have full knight gear. These are the war horses that were used in, with the knights in shining armor. Is it? Okay. They, these oh, are the yeah. horses that Those were bred gorgeous. for battle in medieval times. They are an amazing breed, very intelligent, very strong. Uh, and, oh, don't they look stately? Look at that gear. Wow. Those ladies ought to be wearing full armor. That was a dream, great Frisians. All right, yeah. All that Ted Flowers Silver Parade sandals. They're in classic parade attire. It includes the Ted Flowers Silver Parade saddles, other modern copies, and, and then the side saddle. Right here, Gypsies and Company, a group of horse owners that enjoy everything from trail riding to competitive horse show rings while creating a bond with their horses through natural, natural horsemanship and, uh, and various disciplines. Okay, That's now, this last company. horse in this group is uh -huh. actually a real Gypsy Vanner purebred. You see how it has a very long mane. It's got feathering on the legs, and it's multicolored. Really? Okay. That's that's an absolutely classic breed. They're very rare in America, popular over in Europe, and uh -huh. it happened during World War II. Oh, wow. Um, Gypsies and Company. Coming up now, the Golden Dawn Equine Facility. Golden Dawn Equine Facility is a uh, full-out opportunity for horse lovers of all ages. They offer leasing, boarding, training, classes in English, Western, contesting, and driving. 
and their younger barn students also have show team and 4-H opportunities. Private or group trail rides are available here for Golden Dawn Equine Facility. Oh, well, what's this coming up here? We got the <laughs> tiniest little horses I've ever seen. These are the minis. Oh, my gosh. They're teeny tiny little minis. Oh, where are we? I think they may be a part of this here, I believe. I, think I don't know. Did we, move, did we get out of order here a little bit? I don't see any Sometimes that numbers. happens. I, I don't see them. But the minis, uh, they, they're pulled on carts. And, oh, my gosh, they are so cute. They're smaller mm -hmm. than a standard pony, but well, they're considered say, mini horses. I believe they were maybe all part of the Golden uh, Dawn equine facility right there. That could there. be. That could <laughs> be. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to have one of those horses in a cart and oh. just drive around town on that? So cute. Next up is McWilliams and Friends, a group of friends that enjoy riding together in Marysville and the surrounding areas. Hey, McWilliams and Friends. <laughs> now, this group of folks, they, they are not kids. These are adults. They have some beautiful horses. You can tell they are uh, dressed in classic Western attire. Yeah. Uh, look like they really know how to seat in a saddle. Great chaps ride. right there, right? Here is the Bulls Gypsy Banner. Katie's Blazing Wild Fire Lily is an 11 year old gypsy banner. Lily trained in Western Pleasure, Draft Showmanship, and she can pull a cart. She loves playing in water, and her favorite snack is S'mores Pop, uh, S'mores Pop Tarts. In her free time, Lily enjoys visiting her friends at assisted living homes. She's a, a perfect example of a gypsy banner is strong like a big draft horse, but they're much, much smaller. Mm -hmm. She's very tiny. Now, here we have another group. Oh, my goodness. All Western attire. They're wearing chaps, beautiful bright pink outfits. They're carrying flags, some of them standing on their horses. Uh, most of these seem to be quarter horses. Do we know what group this we is? We do not. We don't. <laughs> but they're beautiful. They're wonderful. <laughs> we even got a little tiny one at the very end there. Look at that little tiny one oh. sitting tall in the saddle. Okay, now we got the marauders. Oh, oh God, you guys look like marauders, I can tell. <laughs> Here they come. Now, <laughs> these folks are very active. They actually shoot from their horses and, and do contests where they shoot out balloons from in the saddle. Really? Yes, and you know something else the marauders do? No. They do the great train robbery in Hacking Hills every year, and people go and ride on this train, mm -hmm. and they actually pretend well, come on, to rob the train. <laughs> you got a minute? The Mid-Ohio Marauders are Central Ohio's Cowboy Mounted Shooting Club. Based in London, Ohio, the Mar Marauders host several high-profile shoots, such as the Ohio State Fair, OMSA Midwest Regional Championships, and the All-American Quarter Horse Congress Shootout. Learn more about Cowboy Mounted Shooting at MidOhioMarauders.com. Also, their Facebook page, Mid-Ohio Marauders General Membership Group. We got a couple of minutes. So, how are the Mid Ohio Marauders doing today? We're doing great today. Thanks for asking. We're a rootin' tootin' shootin' group. <laughs> oh, tell us, tootin and shootin', huh? uh, tell us about the holster that you yeah. use for those two guns that you're carrying there. They're speed holsters, right? Yeah, I can rip them out real quick. Go get your microphone, Carter, so they can get on their way. But thank you for chatting away with us. We appreciate it, guys. <laughs> it takes Enjoy the rest of the parade. Y'all look awesome. It's a very special type of holster that you have to get. And there's one guy in the country, I think his name's Ernie Hall, that makes them. And that's for the speed draw. Uh, it's fascinating to watch. When they shoot, uh, they, they put a shot in it. Who are we looking at here? Oh. We've got an American flag. We've mm -hmm. got another one that's yeah. a black American flag with a red stripe. I think we're honoring, it looks like, our veterans or police officers. Coming up, I'm going to assume this was that was B-29A, the Central Ohio Ranch Riders. Central Ohio Ranch Riders made up of friends who ride in many different disciplines like working cattle roping, trail riding, team sorting, cowboy mounted shooting, and barrel racing. And coming up here next, Cinch and Saddle 4-H. The 4-H representing, wow, nice. look at them all. There's so many, adults, kids, mm -hmm. ponies, horses. Cinch oh, my and, goodness. Cinch and Saddle 4-H Club wants to thank our first responders for serving in our community. Carrying the American flag is President uh, Cora Derwent, Vice President uh, Grace Bulis, carrying the Ohio flag, and Secretary Gabby Beaver with the 4-H flag. Mark, look, it's a little <laughs> tiny baby colt that's little. wearing a tutu. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to faint. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Ever? <laughs> ever? Whoa. <laughs> nice. That was pretty cute, too. Oh, Catch uh, up, little friend. But he doesn't have a tutu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, now we got another group. This is classic Western here. We got some chaps. 33 some Weaver hats. horseshoeing. 
bunch of and, peanut uh, rollers. Mike Weaver there from Weaver Horseshoeing, riding a nine-year-old paint mare named Georgie Girl. Hey, Georgie Girl. Oh, look, we got a unicorn here that looks like it's part Arabian. All right. <laughs> She's got flowers in her hair. Look at that. Do you see the horn on the front of that horse? I hear another band are coming. I'm seeing poop cam action. Yeah, yeah. Poop cam action. Oh, did we get something? Yeah, we we did. I'm going to go grab that number. Check that number. Oh, they're going to scoop it. They're about to scoop it. They're about Hold to scoop up. it. Hold up. Oh, number is that? We got poop cam action. CR Ranch through in, uh, right now. Henry is a 15-year-old Appaloosa gelding pulling a restored 1895 carriage. That's their fifth all-horse parade at CR Ranch. So thank you very much, guys. Here they come, the Barons, right? Woohoo! All right, Buckeye Valley Barons. Buckeye Valley Barons. Great Virginia. band. Boop. They are all dressed up in their gray and yellow with gold Green. flags, performing for us today at the parade. Let's listen. Well, listen. There they are. That's the Buckeye Valley Baron marching band and the Buckeye Valley cheerleaders. Go, BB. Go, BB. Go. Go, BB. Go, BB. Go. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, we've got another uh, it is draft 37. team. This is the First Citizens National Bank, uh -huh. Delaware Banking Center, Center staff escorted by Steve Wickersham and his team. First Citizens National Bank, first for business, first for Delaware. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, folks and First Citizens, nice to see you all. They get to hang out behind the noisy band, what do you know? Oh, we got some beautiful, oh, beautiful yes. horses coming up here. This is MG Equine and just loping around 4-H. All right. This, you know, oh, I'm going to leave you with the name. Michaela Gladman, uh -huh. alongside the hardworking bunch of kids who train and show with her all year long. All are members of the Just Loping Around 4-H Club, and they participate in many activities all year. And the All Horse Parade is one of their favorites. And look at how beautiful some of these horses mm -hmm. are. I'm sure that they win lots of awards. Just Loping Around 4-H. Well done, you guys. Nice. Next, we have Emily and Raymond Coy. Emily Coy is riding her horse, Gordon. And with Emily is her grandfather, Raymond Coy. And Raymond is riding PJ. Hello, PJ. Hey. All right. <laughs> I love to see a family out here together. Next up, uh, we've got Thompson and Sons Used Cars, a group of friends who love riding together. Uh, Lorelei Hindeman riding Dreamer, Kim Katzner riding Kandar, and Carol King riding Silver. God bless America is their message to us all. Laura Lai, okay. Yeah. It's a great name, Laura Lai. Yeah. And Carol King, too. Hey, love Carol King. Yeah. Sing, sing us a song, Carol, won't you? You're listening to the All Horse Parade on the new My 96.7 and 1270 WDLR. It's Mark Bingaman from the Breakfast Club, Kelly Bell. Of them horsing around and the little brown jug. Ray right. Ray Network checking everything out. B41, this is the Spencerville After Hours Riders. And Are you, you got to talk like I a pirate. Guys. Fantastic. Riders dressed as pirates. Pirate riders. <laughs> How fun is that? Very cool, guys. Number 42 here is the Schroeder family. Schroeder family riding today in honor of John and Rob Schroeder, who love to ride in this parade. Chuck, Samantha, and Rowley are joined by friends Mary Ellen, Hanna, and Christy Hilton. That's the Schroeder family. Okay, folks. Now, uh, it looks like in this next group, the Horse Lake Farms Clydesdales are part of this team. I don't see a Clydesdale no, here. This we is might be out of order. And 45 right here. We might be out of order. This is a Lance group. Tegan riding her pony Lizzie and Kristen riding her paint draft cross Zs. Uh, paint draft cross. Uh, Tegan's first year riding in the parade. Also here is Salyers and Kinsey. Taylor Salyers riding her buckskin quarter horse Hollywood. 
Cameron Kinsey riding her Sorrel quarter horse, honestly. Did I say that right? Uh, yeah, Sorrel. yeah, I think so. Yeah, and and they've right. actually Sorrel. painted their paints. Look at that. We've got blue paint, green paint, purple paint, and unicorn horns on those horses. <laughs> uh, fantastic. And what? Oh, 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 guys, oh, oh ladies and gentlemen, oh, there the feature of the show, oh. the famous, the wondrous, the Budweiser Clydesdales are about to come into our view. Right behind Look at Sally this team. Kinsey, isn't that something? Huh? I, I, I know I'm excited. I, I, like, I like the unicorn horses oh. over there. I'm still stuck on them. <laughs> I do too, but we've got to talk I about know. the Budweiser team. Well, okay. of course we do. The, the Budweiser has multiple teams that go around the country. Their wagon is incredible. I believe it's called a Studebaker wagon. Oh, really? Uh, all handmade, hand pinstripe. Uh, handmade wheels that are on it. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a two, four, six, eight hitch team. You got your wheel horses at the back, closest to the wagon. Those are your biggest horses. Um, then you've got uh, oh, what's the name next? It's it's the wheel horses, and I forget that. And the, and then you've got your turning horses, or um, and then the front ones are the lead horses. And you know, they are stunning. You know, it's sort of funny. Oh, we're pausing here for a second to let traffic flow back and forth over here on uh, on Lincoln Avenue across that desk. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, but I know. Look at that. They're here. They're beautiful. Do you know they They're only fantastic. use males? They're pausing for a second and now coming into our video screen here in just a second as you watch the uh, live feed on my967.net, the video feed on uh, on the website. Ladies and gentlemen, the Budweiser Clydesdale. How awesome. Turn that around so we can even see it on our Facebook feed. There they are. Oh, look at the so Dalmatian. Hi there. How are you? Dalmatian in the wagon, filled with Budweiser beer for all to drink. They need to come to the station yeah. after the show. Welcome to Delaware, guys. Thanks for coming. Roses on their manes, all braided up and beautiful. Every one of these horses is a perfect match to the one beside it. Uh, they are stunning. And all males. They don't use females. Oh, well, they don't. Huh? No. Why no. do you think that is? Uh, they said temperament and size. Oh, really? Yeah. Temperament. Huh? So do the females get a little bit more? I I don't know. I, maybe they need, you know, <laughs> a little more pull and a little more excitement from the males. Or, you know, usually the males are a little harder to handle. Hmm. I, I don't know. But they that are quite stunning. Sci I have never seen the uh, Budweiser Clydesdales in person before. Shout out to awesome. Diane Winters for making that happen. Hey, ladies. Hello there. And this looks like another gypsy vanner here. Nice young lady. She's riding solo. Uh, Western seat. Uh, looks like a young person in red, white, and blue attire. Uh, beautiful little paint. That's got to be a gypsy vanner horse. Nice Western saddle. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell she sits a good seat and uh, probably is a competitor. She's got number 50 there on her back. So <laughs> number 50. Well, we might be a little out of order here. That happens. Uh, the Dutcher family. That's uh, The Dutcher family has secret. A five-year-old gypsy vanner pulling a, a vis a -vis series. And here it? comes the rest of 50. Oh, there's the oh, rest of 50, part of the Dutcher field. family. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, the Middlefield Company. And what a beautiful wagon that tiny little mini horse is pulling. Now this is uh, Barrels, Rails, and Such 4-H, a 4-H club focusing on horses, but also has members showing in all livestock events for the past 10 years, Barrels, Rails, and Such 4-H. Uh, while we have a quick little pause here, too, we did have one horse dropping on the poop cam, right? That is number 33. So if you've uh, entered number 33 on our Facebook contest on the new My 96.7 or on the Breakfast Club, you are a winner. 33, our first deposit right there. Pretty darn exciting stuff. So we've got a great group here. They've decorated their horses, a lot of red, white, and blue. We see some ribbons. Uh, they're all in matching shirts. They're waving at the crowd. Uh, really, really nice-looking quarter horses here. And that paint, uh, they actually painted the horses' haunches with what looks like an American flag with sprinkles on it. Oh, right. Yeah, nice. That's sort of cool. Young ladies taking care of the mess right there. Oh, they don't have anything to scoop up in our in our poop cam though for this time around. You guys are doing fantastic. How you feeling? Oh, uh, yeah, whoop, yeah. Whoop, the real true heroes of this parade right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now we have Mighty Fine Kennels coming up, proudly serving Central Ohio's pets. They offer boarding, grooming, daycare, and training. Uh, Taki Welch is driving horses owned by Ron Schilling of Horseshoe Farm Carriage. 
This is uh, 59. 59. Yes, this is Sunbury Halter and Saddle 4-H. The club was organized in 1952, one of the oldest in Delaware County. Sunbury Halter and Saddle 4-H. You guys having fun in the Delaware Parade today, the All Horse Parade? Heck yeah, they are. Carrying the American flag, marching together, carrying the colors. Uh, guys, help me out here. Are we saying this right? The yep. Padovano Group? Yep. Yay, Mark. The Padovano Group. Emma is riding Sundance. Uh, Leilana, Leilana riding Trinity. Garrett riding Smokey. Kenzie walking Jolene is a mini donkey. And Owen's walking Dr. D, another mini donkey coming up here in just a second. Looking good. Riding Western. Let's see, coming up next, it looks like it's going to be the Buckeye Trail Trotters coming into view. They like to have fun, ride, and camp with each other. Sounds like a, oh, look at the little donkey <laughs> with the little boy riding, and he's saluting. Hey, hey, hey. very patriotic. Oh, my goodness. Here's a classic little donkey uh, with flowers on either side of him. Oh, and he's wearing a little crown of flowers over his head. Oh, oh, look at, look at this horse over here. You guys are looking good today. <laughs> wow, we've got a beautiful gray Appaloosa with um, socks on that are uh, like the American flag, and the rider is all in red, white, and blue. We have a gorgeous saddle pad that's yeah, that all was the, red, uh, white, and blue. Buckeye Trail Trotters having fun. They have fun riding camp with each other, the Buckeye Trail Trotters. Very nice. Here comes a little mini. And here's some folks walking with a mini. He's so tiny you can't ride it. You'd have to get a little monkey to ride that horse. Uh, okay, Loco Cabello 4-H uh, Club. Caballo, I bet. Is it Caballo? I bet it's probably Loco Caballo 4-H Club. Okay. Loco Caballo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Loco Caballo, Delaware County 4-H Club. Members and advisors are riding for, uh, quarter horses, a Gypsy Banner, a Palomino, and various other breeds. The Gypsy Banner is the one that is pulling the cart. You can always tell by those uh, feathers on the feet and the multicolor paint uh, of the horse's, uh, what do you call it, fur, coat? Mm -hmm. I just can't, I just realized something. If I ever walk in this parade, I am not going to wear sandals. <laughs> <laughs> not going to wear sandals in this parade. That would be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think some boots may be in order. <laughs> oh, okay. So now come the Crooked Creek Minis. I love the Minis. The Gillum family with their friends, Maddie Yossi and Melody Franklin. And they even have a little donkey named Snickers. Snickers. Hi, Snickers. We love you. Snickers has a rose on his head. Oh, how cute is that? Yes, Snickers is like, I can't believe I have a rose on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Our next group up here, here's an, another donkey in a cart with this group. This is Freckles and Friends. Freckles used to be owned by Kathy Ellis, who's no longer with us. Uh, to see Freckles and his friends, we ride in her honor. So we're riding in Kathy's honor. Freckles very, very nice. Uh, shout out to Kathy and everyone who loves her. See, 67? Uh, 68, 68. Yes, indeed. Do we have a 68 in here anywhere? Well, I'm not sure well, who hi, 68 guys. is. <laughs> um, Where are you from? Marengo, all right. Marengo, Ohio. We got some beautiful quarter horses. Looks like a club. H They're riding western. About six folks in, in that club, and they even have a mini with them, too. Next group up, uh, number 70, we have another Western group. Uh, we've got some beautiful show horses here. Uh, looks like maybe a husband and wife couple in classic Western attire with their horses. Uh, looking good, folks, looking good. And here come more donkeys. This is the donkey leg of the parade. I just love the donkeys. They're just so adorable. Now, this gal, number 73, she's all dressed up, being pulled with her donkey wagon, and she's doing a homage to the movie Frozen. So how wonderful is that? A little Disney movie action here for the kids to enjoy. 76, we have another mini pony on a cart, decorated up, and behind that, a group of adults that are all riding classic western on quarter horses. Uh, very, very nice looking horses there. 
folks who are sitting in the saddle like they've been doing this for a very long time, enjoying the parade, classic American Cowboys. Now we have another Western group coming up. Uh, let's see, this is group number 78. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five. Looks like nine or ten folks that are all riding together. We've got a few young people and a few adults. Uh, some beautiful, beautiful Is this the Knox County here. Horsemen's Council? There you go. Yes. Yeah. And one of them's riding a mule. How fantastic <laughs> is that? Oh, now we got our Percherons again. Here we go. Big draft horses. Got a band inside the carriage. 79? Uh, pretty sure that's not the Knox County Color Guard and Drill Team, no. <laughs> It's always fun. Everybody jams away. Don, 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 don. That's right. <laughs> Enjoy a little Buckeye bite action right there. I am so happy there was not a game yesterday. Woo! Oh, my gosh. A donkey uh, in a tutu wearing an Uncle Sam hat. How cute is that? Uh, okay, this is 81 uh, Champion Feed out of Delaware, Ohio. Classic Western Riders in a group. Oh, got a beautiful high step in gray back here. Looking good. A little bit of paint on those red, white, and blue horses. And now another mini pony. It looks like a mother and daughter riding together for entry number 86, followed by a classic carriage. Oh, that would be Mandy and Trinity Robinson riding there together. There you Mandy go. and Trinity Robertson, and behind them, the uh, Knox County Equine Swing for uh, 2021. Very, I very nice that carriage. That's, that's what you see when you go to, like, the Quarter Horse Congress, and they bring in those beautiful custom-made carriages, um, and they compete with them. They make sure that the uh, rider is dressed beautifully and, uh, you know, in period attire. Uh, usually some sort of a formal hat is required with that as well. Uh, you can tell that those folks have put a lot of time and effort into taking their sport to a level of excellence. Uh, entry number 89 here. We are, uh, we've got Rider 88 is in kind of a fairy costume. She looks like she's out of the medieval ages. And then 89, red, white, and blue, classic Western attire with quarter horses. You know why they call them quarter horses, Mark? I don't know why. Why do they call them quarter because horses? They can do uh, a quarter of a mile in a minute. A quarter of a mile in a minute? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And cool. they also call them peanut rollers because they keep their heads down. I like to the All Horse Parade on the new My 96 7. And uh, on My 96 7 and AM 1270 WDLR, also the uh, video stream online at uh, my967.net. That's my967.net. Short little pause here as uh, folks uh, pause for just a quick second or so. Here at the All Horse Parade, boy, it's a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of work, Kelly Bell, but it's yeah. well worth it. it. It's going by so fast, and sometimes it's hard to figure out who's in front of us because we do have some notes to go by, but they're not always in the right order. Now, this group here that we have in front of us, it looks like they're all riding Western. This is a group of adults. They've yeah. got a lot of classic. Yeah, just real quick, say hi to us. Where are you guys from? Uh -huh. Everywhere. But you're representing what organization? The American Side Saddle Association yep. and the Silver Riders. The American oh. Side Saddle Association, the Silver Riders. The all right. Silver Riders. Now, were you going to break a world record here today? Did we hear something about that? <laughs> we were hoping to. We couldn't get as many people out. Oh, well, you guys right. are fantastic. <laughs> the costuming is incredible. Oh, we see you. some folks riding side saddle here. All right. Beautiful oh, mount. Well, thank well, you very thank much. You so much. And Carter back. All right. We're glad to have you here. Welcome to the Silver Saddles, to the Delaware All Horse Parade. Well, let you guys get going. We appreciate it. Such a joy looking at the way they've costumed the riders as well as the horses, the tack, all the fancy little tweaks and edges. I Look, this horse has... You know, flowers on his tail. We've got the POW MIA flag and the American flag. Uh, that is awesome. There's so much patriotism out here today. There is. And ladies and gentlemen, our All Horse Parade is coming to an end. That was it right there. Very nice.
Now, Kelly, one question for our listeners that may not know this term. You mentioned feathers. Yes. Can you describe that for our listeners and our viewers so that they know what you're talking about? Well, you know, I've got to get this right. There are certain horses, uh, like the Pershons, the Clydesdales, the Gypsy Banners, that there's a, a big, thick amount of fur on the bottom of their ankles going over the hoof. And it's called feathers. But you're not supposed to call it feathers because that's for birds, is what I was told. But I don't know how to talk about four legs and not pluralize it. So well, somebody that makes needs sense. to tell me the right way to speak of a horse with feathering on their legs. Could it be feathered? Feathered, yes, I think that's correct. Uh, feathers, I'm told, is not correct, but I always say it that way because I just go plural, you know, because mm-hmm. there's four legs. What are you going to do? you got to put the <laughs> answer in there. I, I don't know. And Delaware PD, PD, bring it up the rear here as we wrap up the uh, 2021 All Horse Parade on Thank the new My 96.7. Thank you to Thank everyone you. who put this parade together. You know, Diane Winters has been doing this for 30 years. 30 long years. 30 That's pretty years. darn impressive, huh? Uh, thanks uh, to the uh, um, boy, the, uh, the folks at uh, the Budweiser Distributing Company for bringing in the Clydesdales again this year. Certainly a highlight of the parade and every individual that came out here today and put in a little bit of effort. Whether it was just a family riding together or just some friends getting together, that's what makes it right there. Uh, the All Horse Parade on the new My 96.7 brought to you in part by Ron and Darla Waterwash, Team Waterwash of uh, the Weicker Triumph Realty Group and Pal, also the Hamburger Inn Diner. A Revolution Mortgage, Mosier's Market in Raymond, Choppy's Coffee, Tea and Confections, Cross Strings Music Center, uh, the Delaware County Transit uh, Agency Authority, James Tree Service, and Cashman's. And our thanks to CNO Automotive Repair. Also, our thanks to uh, Don McCann, the Three of a Kind Band, or the Four of a Kind Band. They have something of a, a little thing going on. They're not sure if they're Three of a Kind or Four of a Kind. They have four members now, but they're still thinking that we're sort of like Three of a Kind. So, you know, what do you do when you get the fourth member? Do you change your name entirely? No. Uh, thanks. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> we thank them for uh, uh, sharing their stage with us here today that we've used for Broadcast Central Extraordinaire. So, uh, Kelly, what do you think? I had pretty quick. a lot of fun. Yeah. I hope we keep doing this every year. Make it a tradition. So you're saying this will be the uh, the first annual WDLR broadcast of the All Horse Parade on the radio? I like the sound of that. And we did have somebody poop in one of our squares. So we're going to have to look. We had three? Three. 33. Oh, 33 mm-hmm. was the number. So if anybody had picked that number and contacted us on the Facebook page or the website and said 33, you win a prize. So, you know, make sure we have your contact information and we will get you taken care of because you won Poop Bingo! <laughs> From the Mid-Ohio Breakfast Club in My 96.7, we make it our thing to be as classy as possible <laughs> at all points in time. <laughs> we really, really do. <laughs> and the very first car is to get a roll over all the uh, all the poop here. That's quite the honor. At the and, end of the and the poop bingo. The poop bingo, that's right. <laughs> what fun. What oh, fun. I also needed to mention that thanks to uh, Ashley Post uh, 518, the American Legion Post in Ashley, too, uh, for their part in the uh, and the, uh, the stage here today. Thank you, Carter, for uh, taking care of business as always. It's been a wonderful day. Carter Jan- Johnson uh, on the on the audio extraordinaire. He's like a magic man is what he is. Wild Bill doing the video thing. Uh, we thank everyone for watching on Facebook Live, also watching on the uh, video stream. Online right now, my967.net. We'll also have the archive version of that. If you uh, want to check her out and go from there, are we still on Facebook Live, Kelly? Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up. Uh, oh, okay. Well, let's, let's right do a now. special. Let's do a special goodbye to our folks on Facebook Live. Hey, peace. How about a little kiss goodbye? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. That was weird. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching on Facebook. It Thanks was for so fun. Thanks to our, our producer back in the uh, in the studio, Emma, for taking care of business this afternoon as well. Emma is going to play some hot hits for you here in just a few minutes. Sam, what do you think about that? Before we get great. going here, while well, we give Emma a chance to uh, get herself together and uh, and get the stacks of wax ready to roll, uh, tell us one more time about uh, about horsing around and about the Little Brown Jug broadcast starting here in one week. So one week from today, we'll be listening to, to That's racing. That's right, and I don't have my notes because the gentleman came and took my notes, so I'm going to have to chase <laughs> them down because I need those for jugs. I, I gave you away your notes. Me, give them back. I need that stuff. Uh, but, Sorry. yes, we will be at the Delaware County Fair. Me and Keith Gisser will be your hosts on the Little Brown Jug radio network. 
broadcasting every race every day, including the Buckeye Stallion Series, uh, the Old Oak and Bucket, the Jugat, and the feature race of the week on Thursday, the Little Brown Jug. The Little Brown Jug, which I've heard is quite the event around here in oh Delaware. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite the event. So uh, tell us once again about Horace and Around, what's coming up next week on Horace and Around. Do you know Horace and Around yet? is every Saturday morning with my co-host Michelle Gatchel, 9 a.m. to 9.30 on WDLR, my 96.7. We talk about anything equine. We've talked about Olympic horses. We've talked about Western horses. We've talked uh, of uh, we had uh, some of the therapy stuff uh, that we get into. We get into harness racing, um, all kinds of stuff. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you just have to listen in and find out. Mm -hmm. You know my favorite thing? What's your favorite thing? Farriers. I had no idea that shoeing horses was such a fascinating subject. Mm -hmm. It really is. Uh, they're called farriers? Farriers. Or blacksmiths. Like, you know, or blacksmiths, yeah. okay. Well, but I knew the blacksmith thing. Yeah, I mean, you, farriers, can, huh? you, can, you can go deep down that rabbit hole. <laughs> so, uh, so love to have you tune in to, to us again tomorrow morning, the Mid-Ohio Breakfast Club. Sherry Fisher and I do a little live and local morning radio show between 6 to 9, telling you everything that's happening. We'll, we'll have a few things to talk about this uh, about uh, this event tomorrow morning. Maybe you'll, you'll give us a little call, too. Sure, yeah. Well, yeah, we've got our new studios now, and I'm only about two minutes away. So, you yeah. know. Sweet. Anytime you're short, just give me a ring. Well, we, and we have to fi find out who our big winner of uh, Horse Poop Bingo was, Horse Bingo 2. That was number 33. If anyone uh, plopped down their, their uh, bet on number 33 on the Facebook live feed and the video feed, you are a big winner. We'll give you some uh, Renaissance Festival tickets. We'll give you some passes to African Safari Wildlife Park. We have coffee mugs. we got other good stuff. We may even have some WWE wrestling tickets coming Woo! up, too. too. <laughs> I can just sit here in the parking lot watching everybody walk around after the all-horse parade. But I, no, let's not do that. Huh? And, you know, once again, can we thank the folks at CNO Auto for putting our can. stage on their property and giving us this great uh, vantage point to watch the parade? Yeah, it's a beautiful vantage point. It was perfect. CNO Automotive. Thank you very much, guys. I have to come. I need some work done here pretty soon. This might be my stopping point. Yeah, yeah. So my mechanic retired. I need a new yeah, guy. Just about a mile or so away from the uh, from the old place here. CNO Automotive. I'll check them out. I'll check them out. All right, folks, that's it. Let's say goodbye to 2021's All Horse Parade. Thank you for the live broadcast. Again, brought to you by Ron and Darla Waterwatch, Hamburger Inn, Revolution Mortgage, Mosier's Market, Choffee's Coffee, Cross Springs Music, Delaware County Transit, James Tree Service, and Cashman's. That's Kelly Bell. Say hey. Hey. I'm Mark Bingaman. Thanks for listening. Back to more. I uh, like killer tunes. Let's play some funky tunes. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. Emma's taking care of business that now on the new My 96.7, 70s, 80s, and more. Trick or DJs are flipping through the record collection and choosing some tunes. Hang on. The music's coming right back on the new My 96.7.